Hey there, Everlong Mystic here. So this is a reading for those of you that resonate with the sign of Ophicus or Ophiuchus. And <clears throat> kind of going with the flow for this series of readings, I've picked um, an oracle deck and a tarot deck for each individual sign. And for you, I am using the Fairies Oracle and the John Bauer Tarot. All right, a few guys. Ooh. What is this, the RAR? Or the RAS? I don't know. I can never read the font on these. All right, it's number 52. So let's read about it. The RAR. Ooh, wild energy, pure potential. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right. They're not naughty or wicked. They're only, they're just energetic. They like to join in, in the excitement. They're a bit like Tigger in the Winnie the Pooh stories. They bounce, they zoom, they go off on wild tan tangents. <laughs> okay, so it says here, it encourages you to be especially attentive to what you're doing with your energy and intentions. Otherwise, you can get carried, carried away with just the excitement of it and lose, um, lose like a direction or something. So let's see here. Feels like there's a couple things going on here. One is, I mean, one is just paying attention to paying attention to your, like what your intention is and the direction you want to go in. But the other thing is like kind of paying attention to where is the excitement and how does that relate to you? It's like, are you following someone else's excitement or are you following your own or I don't know it's curious where this is gonna go Five of Pentacles. That's like, I, I just, that's just dissatisfaction, like not satisfied with something. Like trying to venture out to see if there's something better somewhere else. This is weird. It's like, with this Eight of Wands here, it's, I mean, normally Eight of Wands is like either, you know, like quick messages coming in or something really speeding up, but this seems to be, like with all of these clouds here, I don't know, it almost feels like, um, like a darkening of something, like a very quick darkening. You know, like when a storm just rolls in, you're like, holy crap. But like you're, it's like you're being drawn to it somehow. You're being drawn to the storm. It's like there's something in it for you. Cause like from down below, you just see the darkness and you see the dark clouds, but you don't realize that there's something going on in the clouds here. There's a whole scene. There's uh, maybe even beings or something. 
And that's weird because I know like just like I've seen on like social media and stuff where people have been taking these crazy pictures of things that they see in the clouds. And there's a lot of excitement around it, but does it mean anything? Yeah, there's not enough information on that. It's like the Page of Pentacles. It's like there's there's much to be learned. There is much to be learned about whatever whatever I just said. Huh. This is really cool. This is the the Knight of Swords. But instead of the Knight of Swords just rushing off like this Roar would do, instead of the just rushing off to join in the excitement, he's actually, he or she, whatever, is actually taking the time to listen to this bird, which is like spirit to me when I see like a bird, it usually means spirit. Like taking the time to listen to spirit before just rushing into something. Penelope Dream Dreamweavers Dreamweaver Penelope Dreamweaver Okay, so let's read about her. It's number 28. Okay, so 28, Penelope Dreamweaver, Inspiration, Magical Dreams, and Visions. She weaves tapestries in the mind with threads of light, color, and sound. When she comes to us in dreams, we waken under her enchantment and rush for our paints or clay or other forms of expression. And I kind of like that because we've got this... You know, this Penelope Dreamweaver coming in, giving you some kind of inspiration. And up here, it's like you kind of ventured out into the darkness or ventured out somewhere because you weren't satisfied with something where you were or how things were. It's like you were willing to risk the elements just to like, like almost seeking inspiration and then, in, then it shows up. And it's funny because it's like when you seek inspiration, it's like what this is saying is that it's not so much about following the excitement, you know? Just because something is exciting does not mean it's inspiring. She's the, the inspiration fairy. Oh, interesting. Okay, so down here it says pay special attention <clears throat> to unsought inspirations. Because inspiration doesn't it doesn't just show up when you're seeking it. Inspiration can show up when you're not seeking it. And those are the ones you're supposed to be paying attention to at this time. 
because they have something wonderful to offer you. But it's up to you to catch them and bring them into reality. That is interesting. Because, like, that kind of stuff can show up in your everyday life. It's not just, like, though, it's not just in dreams. It's not just in vision. It's not just in when you're meditating. Like, those, those different forms of inspiration can actually show up, like, when you're washing the dishes or taking a shower or vacuuming the carpet or whatever. <laughs> when you're walking in the rain that's funny okay so we have the lovers here but they are but they're they're like taking a stroll right and it's funny because it's almost like there's some kind of inspiration that comes to these people in the photo like they're like this this cloud rolls in it's it's so this is so cool it's like you you leave where you are and where you are can be metaphoric right metaphorical but you leave where you are braving the elements to find some kind of inspiration then you're distracted because this big storm comes in and all you see is just the dark clouds and da 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 but you don't notice that there's something else in the clouds then here's the everyday not every day, but like a mundane thing where, oh, it we got caught in the rain. You know, you're not necessarily seeking inspiration in a thunderstorm, but it rains down upon you and, and you get it. Like you, it happens. And I love how like on this Knight of Swords where he's taking the time to talk to spirit you can see these birds in the background here, just kind of dotting, dotting the way here, like spirit still being with you. It's like you don't have to be meditating, you don't have to be, you know, in dream state. Like you can just be taking a walk, <laughs> you know? Here I'm just getting a sense of illusion here. It's the seven <clears throat> it's the seven of wands, but I'm just kind of getting the feeling like that this, this giant isn't really a giant. Like I don't know if there's something that maybe intimidates you or seems blown out of proportion maybe, but um I honestly don't feel like this giant here stands a chance against this little dude with the, the sword. <laughs> like this is as big as we make it out to be. Whatever, whatever this giant represents, it's as big as we make it out to be ourselves, you know? Oh, this is like after the, this is like after the, after the rain, which means like after that, that inspirational moment, just in your day-to-day -day world, you, when you realize that, yeah, okay, maybe I blew that out of proportion, I'm okay, because like this giant is blocking the clear blue skies, right? He's blocking that. And here it's like, oh, so the, the clouds begin to kind of roll out and disperse and you're able to notice you're able to notice the beauty here
And you couldn't really see it that well when it was raining, when it was dark. It's like something being revealed to you here. Now this I like. This is the, I'm going to say it's the page of, it's the page of wands. But <clears throat> this page of wands, this is like a new dawn. This is like a new day. He is, he is up at the crack of dawn. And he is, he's proclaiming something here. And it's, it's a new discovery. But it's a discovery after inspiration. Like this inspiration happens and then this discovery energy just kind of like glows around you. And then you've got something to say. You've got something to announce. You've got, like, you want to let other people know. And what does that do? It creates a little bit of excitement. That's funny how it kind of comes full circle. It's like this, this little circle of excitement and um, inspiration that uh, you just, you kind of take a little, take a little trip around it, you know? Pretty cool. All right. So this is your reading. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you next time. Bye.